Welcome everyone to the Women's Pole Vault Division 3 competition at the European Athletics Team Championships 2023 in Poland. You are watching Portal Sports. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video once you are finished watching. Let's meet the athletes. And now time for the Women's Pole Vault. Czas na konkurs skoku o tyczce kobiet. The national indoor champion of Austria. Reprezentantka Austrii, Shana Tureczek. Representing Bosnia and Herzegovina. Reprezentantka Bośni i Hercegowiny, Neira Hadjachmatagic. In the colors of Andorra. Reprezentantka Andory. Ariadna Agemi Augusti. The Israeli bronze medalist. Tyczkarka z Izraela. Yada Mantel. The national champion of Malta. Representantka Malty, Sana Grillo. Representing San Marino. Representantka San Marino. Martina Morancini. Representing Ireland. Tyczkarka z Irlandii. Ellie McCartney. And representing North Macedonia. I listę startową zamyka reprezentantka Macedonii Północnej, Michaela Lazarowska. So those were the athletes who will be competing today. Not all of them are professional pole vaulters. So let's not expect a very high standard of competition here. Some of them are not even regular track and field athletes. This competition was held on the 21st of June 2023, just so you know. The opening height is 2.20 meters. And Hadziama Tajik of Bosnia and Herzegovina clears the opening height with ease. 24-year-old Nera Hadziama Tajik is the national champion with a personal and season best of 2.90 meters. Agusti also clears the opening height without any trouble. 33-year-old Ariadna Argemi Agusti comes from the tiny country of Andorra. She is the national champion with a personal and season best of 2.30 meters. Lazarovska celebrates. This is her first ever pole vault attempt in her professional career. Some of you might recognize 20-year-old Mihaela Lazarovska from the High Jump Division 3 competition video we posted a few weeks ago. The North Macedonian is primarily a high jumper, winner of the national championships thrice in a row since 2021. The new height is 2.50 meters. Hadziama Tajik competed in a couple of pole vault events in 2021, and then she disappeared only to make her appearance today. It's unknown whether she suffered an injury that kept her out of action for two years, or whether she was busy studying or doing something else. Maybe she is just a part-time pole vault athlete. We will not discuss her technique. It's a successful clearance and that's all that matters. Augusti with her second attempt at 2.50 meters. And she knocks down the bar again. Augusti is a graduate in alpine skiing, that's what her Instagram profile says. I don't know if that means she is a professional skier. The last time she competed in a pole vault or any track and field event was way back in 2018. She makes it over the bar this time. This is now her personal and season best.
Lazarovska has retired after her one jump. The bar is now at 2.80 meters. Hadzia Matajic with her second attempt. She clears it this time, and it's a national record as well. Great competitiveness being shown by the young woman here. Remember, she is not a pole vaulter, not even a track and field athlete. It is a big deal for her to accomplish this. Augusti with her second attempt at 2.80 meters. You can see that was her fourth failure, which means her time here is over. The Andorran departs with a new personal and season best of 2.50 meters. Maybe we will see her again in a future competition. Good luck to her. Three point one zero meters is the new height. Hadziyama Tajik knocks down the bar with her legs. She still has two more attempts left. Twenty-eight-year-old Martina Muracini from San Marino. She comes here with a season best of 3.40 meters. She is a professional pole vaulter, so we can expect a better technique from her. And it's an easy clearance for the athlete from San Marino. San Marino, the fifth smallest country in the world, with a total area of 61 square kilometers and a population of approximately 33,000 people in 2021. There was another athlete from San Marino, Alicia Selva, who competed in the Division III triple jump competition here. Sana Grillo from Malta getting ready for her first attempt at 3.10 meters. The 23-year-old is a two-time national champion. It's not Sun Oz's turn yet. It's Hadzia Matajic with her last attempt at 3.10 meters. Hadzia Matajic fails to clear 3.10 meters, but she was impressive as long as she lasted. The young athlete from Bosnia and Herzegovina departs with a national record clearance of 2.80 meters to her name. Well done, and we hope to see more of her in the future.
3.35 meters is the new height. Twenty-year-old Shana Tureczek from Austria. Tureczek is the national indoor pole vault champion. She comes here with a personal and season best of 3.90 meters. Tureczek goes down and takes the bar down with her. Not the start she was hoping to get, but she still has plenty of attempts left. This is Yarden Mantel from Israel. Only 16 years of age, this very young woman. Mantel is the national champion. Her personal best of 3.95 meters is a national under 18 record. The Israeli comes here with a season best of 3.85 meters. That was probably the best vault of the competition so far. Easy first attempt clearance by Mantle. Take a look at that clearance. She is way above the bar there. <laughs> 23-year-old Sana Grillo from Malta. She comes here with a personal and season best of 3.60 meters. Grillo crashes into the bar, but makes up for the failed vault by showing off her gymnastic skills. She is a gymnastics coach, so expect to see that a lot from her. Nothing went right with that attempt except for the flip. Muracini with her first attempt at 3.35 meters. And she knocks down the bar. Her coach or maybe mentor is 27-year-old Giulia Samarini, an athlete from San Marino herself. Samarini is a triple and long jump athlete who also sometimes competes in the sprints. I don't think she has ever competed in pole vault though. Tureczek is ready for her second attempt at 3.35 meters. And no issues for the Austrian this time as she comfortably clears the bar. Her coach is relieved. She manages to get over the bar, but that was not the kind of technique that she can employ at higher heights.
Grillo with her second attempt at 3.35 meters. You can tell from her reaction, little bit of luck there for Grillo as she manages to clear 3.35 meters on her second attempt. Grillo made good contact with the bar. It's a mystery how it stayed up. Grillo's reaction makes more sense now. She knew how hard she hit the bar for it to still stay up. Muracini is the only athlete left to clear 3.35 meters, but she only has one attempt left now. Tense expression on Julia's face as she yells out something to Muracini. Sounded like a tip to ensure a successful vault. There she goes. And she clears the bar. That was Muracini's best effort so far. You can sense the joy in her coach's voice. Brilliant! That's the way to go, is what I think she probably shouted. Muracini approaches the runway with precision, plants the pole, and launches gracefully over the bar. A textbook clearance at this height. The bar is now at 3.60 meters. Turecek will be the first athlete to have a go at the new height. Turecek soars over the bar with ease. That was a proper vault with all the stages executed to perfection. She showed exceptional control in the air, managing to clear the bar with ample height. Her composure and skill are evident in this successful vault. Mantle with her first attempt at 3.60 meters. A bit unfortunate there for Mantle. She did clear the bar, but knocked it over on her way down.
No replay for us to see what really happened, but it looked like her foot knocked the bar over on her way down. She still has two more attempts left. Sana Grillo with her first attempt at 3.60 meters. If she clears this, she would be equaling her personal best. Come on. She will always land on her feet, this young woman. She is also a sports psychology practitioner, by the way, besides being a gymnastics coach and a pole vault athlete. She has two more attempts left at this height. This young man is Sana Grillo's coach. Muracini with her first attempt at 3.60 meters. Not enough height on that vault as she knocks down the bar. Remember, four failed attempts means the end of the competition for certain athletes. It's either four failed attempts in total or three consecutive failed attempts at a height. I think the total four failed attempts rule applies only to the unranked athletes. So Muracini only has one attempt left to clear this height. Grillo thought it was her turn. Mantle is ready for her second attempt at 3.60 meters. Her coach is not hiding his frustration. Bit unfortunate as she cleared the bar but knocked it over on her way down again. Same thing happened on her first attempt as well. Looks like her body grazed the bar on her way down. A side angle replay would have provided more clarity. Grillo, unsuccessful again, but it was a much better effort this time.
last attempt for Muracini to clear 3.60 meters and stay in the competition. Unfortunately, Muracini bows out of the competition. We have to commend the competitive spirit shown by the athlete from San Marino today. She may have finished at fourth place, but she competed like a champion. Hopefully we get to see more of this athlete in the future. Good luck to her. Her coach is all smiles. Now Mantel needs to get this right to stay in the competition. Finally, says Mantel. No mistakes this time from the 16-year-old as she soars over the bar. She made sure no part of her body gets anywhere near the bar on her way down. Mantle combines speed and agility seamlessly, making the height seem effortless. A successful vault that speaks for her athleticism and dedication. It's do or die for Grillo. And a fabulous last attempt clearance by the Maltese. Just look at the reaction of her coach. Grillo equals her personal and season best with this clearance. She was under pressure and she delivered. That is the mark of a champion. The bar is now set at 3.80 meters. Terekcek will be the first to take on the new height. the bar goes down. It was a very good effort though, almost had it cleared. Just a little graze on her way up, we have seen instances where the bar stays up despite far more prominent grazes by athletes. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Mantle is back to take on the new height.
and the bar goes down. Another failed attempt and Mantle will be out of the competition. No replay. They don't always show a replay for unsuccessful vaults. If Grillo clears this, she would create a new personal and season best. If not, she will be out of the competition. Let's go Grillo! She got very close and she knows that, eventually she will clear this height one day, but unfortunately today was not to be that day. This young champion will not give up. But if you ever feel like giving up, follow the Facebook or Instagram handle of this sports psychology practitioner. Her motivational quotes are applicable to everyone from all walks of life. Good luck to her. Hopefully she will feature a lot more in the videos we post here. Finally, she makes her appearance when the competition is in its final stages. Many of you might have even forgotten that she was also competing here. 24-year-old Ellie McCartney from Ireland, a three-time national and a five-time national indoor champion. Ellie comes here with a personal and season best of 4.26 meters. Easy for McCartney. The last time I saw her was at the Commonwealth Games 2022 in Birmingham. She finished seventh there. A video of her performance is on the channel if you would like to watch. McCartney jumps into the lead straight away. Mantle. If she fails, she will be out of the competition. She might have failed, but how impressive has this young woman been throughout this competition? Mantel finishes in the third position, and let me remind you once again that she is only 16 years old. Her pole wobbled and rotated to the left during the pole straightening phase, resulting in a frustrating, unsuccessful attempt. But Mantel departs with her head held high after an impressive performance. She showcased exceptional skill and determination today. Can't wait to see more of this athlete in the future. Good luck to her. Now Tarekcek with her last attempt at 3.80 meters. She needs to get this right to stay in the competition. A bit unlucky there. She cleared the bar but knocked it over on her way down. Terecek bows out of the competition. But what a performance by the young Austrian. Even in her failed attempts, she seemed so impressive. Terecek showed the most promise here. Definitely has the potential to clear 4.50 meters and more.
Just a little more distance and she was through. She entered the competition with a smile on her face and she is leaving with a smile as well. Well done. Hope to see more of her in the future. It's going to be an Ellie McCartney show now, as the bar moves up to 3.95 meters. Another comfortable clearance for the Irish. There is a lot the other athletes can learn by observing her. Look at that clearance. The height and distance on that vault was phenomenal. Four point one zero meters is the new height. That completes her hat trick of first attempt clearances. A picture-perfect vault from McCartney, who combines speed and control seamlessly. She runs down the runway with power and determination. The takeoff is explosive and she effortlessly soars over the bar with a grace that belies the height. It's a flawless execution, leaving the spectators in the stadium and people watching on YouTube in awe of her skill. So beautiful to watch. Four point two zero meters is the new height. Catches the bar on her way down, unfortunately. She actually knocked it down with her hand after letting go of the pole. 
seems like a silly mistake. Her coach informing her of the problem so she doesn't repeat the mistake again. Her second attempt at the same height. Did she do that again? It looks like she did. Her coach watched the replay and going by her reaction, it seems she knocked the bar down with her hand again. Let's see what the replay shows us. Yeah, she actually knocked it over with her hand again, trying to get it out of the way after releasing the pole. No mistakes this time as Ellie secures a successful clearance of the bar at 4.20 meters. She's happy. Let's see what height she will attempt next. Stay there, Jordan! Stay there! Stay there! 4.30 meters. If she clears this, it would be a new personal and season best for her. Her feet crash into the bar. Her coach is not pleased with that effort, it seems. She struggled with the plant and the pole failed to provide the necessary lift resulting in a botched up attempt.
It's Ellie's last attempt at 4.30 meters after failing the second one as well. How unlucky was that? Don't know if she knocked it over with her hand again, but that was awfully close. That would have been a new personal best for the Irish champion had she cleared it. Ellie McCartney misses out on a new personal and season best, but she wins this Division Three women's pole vault competition at the European Athletics Team Championships 2023. Congrats to the Irish champion and a big thank you to her and all the athletes who competed here to make it such a memorable event. It's goodbye from us for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. You can also send us a super thanks and make your comments stand out. You are watching Portal Sports. See you later.